uh, just communicated that they can't be here due to sickness, other obligations, and one uh, of our members traveling. Um, so just in light of that, the process of, of everything will be um, a little sped up. We won't be able to vote on anything since we don't have a quorum of at least three of our members to vote on that. But um, we will stay as long as it takes to get to all of the agenda items and things of that nature. Um, just wanted to start off by acknowledging some things in the news, some things going on all over. But first of all, it is um, Women's History Month, so I just want to acknowledge that. Um, I'm really proud to say that one of our co-chairs is a woman, um, and we've added two women to our um, our committee. I know that was a concern in the beginning was the lack of representation from women initially, and so that's something that we're going to continue to do. Uh, I've heard from a number of different individuals too who are joining the um, alternate group. So I just want to give an acknowledgement that and all the hard work that women do in many capacities on our steering committee and in the uh, country. Um, another piece of news uh, was the, the report that came out from the Portland Mercury, uh, and also picked up by uh, the Oregonian about police arrest of black students. I've talked to a number of officers about this, talked to a number of community organizations, and I think that that's something definitely um, that we should look into. Um, and looking at those disproportionate rates, and I know the police bureau put out a, um, a statement uh, clarifying some of those um, statistics, we right through them. And I'm uh, looking forward to having conversations around it with school administrators, uh, police officers, and community members about how we, uh, how we address that, including what peace that can do uh, with that as well. Um, last month, we had a presentation on the body one cameras, and uh, I thought that was really successful. We switched the format to a complete, uh, just a kind of like town hall format, where instead of the presentation being given, it was just a day, it was really successful, probably one more. Things we've done. I know it was supposed to be on the agenda for the city hall this Thursday, but it was pulled. Um, and I don't know what that was about, but the way for updates across uh, Corey Murphy was facilitated one of our meetings and we know a little bit more about that. So those are just some of the things going on in the news we've been keeping our eye on as far as PISA is concerned. Uh, we're going to move into our meeting logistics. Uh, we have our March meeting coming up on the 26th, and that will be in the Tiff Tiffany Center downtown. One of the things that we're doing is wanting to uh, have our meetings shift to different parts of the community, which are different folks. So this will be downtown, the first one down there. Um, so for that, we have the police chief who will be um, presenting uh, the auditor's office presentation and things of that nature. So that's Exciting and April 23rd. I don't know if we have a location for that yet. We do. Uh, the April 23rd piece of meeting will be at the United Organ Center uh, located off North Killingsworth across from the PCC Cascade. Perfect. Um, and that's April 23rd. Mm -hmm. And as that gets closer, we will um, send out more information. You can check out the Twitter or the website on that. Um, yeah, that is, that is that as far as those meetings. Is there any um, public comment on either of those um, meetings? Topics? Thoughts? What can I can you um, tell us what the auditor's presentation is about? Um, it, I honestly don't have looked too much into it at this point. Um, I believe it is something that we are we have to um, hear from them every, every once in a while, but I, I haven't looked into exactly what that's going to be on. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was an email chain that was going around between one of our members um, who was following up on it, and I can I can follow up and look at that, but I don't know off the top of my head. Do you remember who it was? Which member? I think it was Andrew. Okay, that's what I think. Well, I was wondering if that report came from the investigation itself. 
Yes, uh, it's the uh, city budget office which put that uh, report out. Uh, mm -hmm. And then it was picked up by media outlets and things like that. Yes, Perfect. Okay, um, so the next order of business, is there any more? Maybe did you want to bring up about the table? About the March bank meeting? Yeah, did you email the thing? Yes, I just yeah. saw it. Um, briefly, but yeah. yeah, so we're just planning to talk about how many time for the next, I guess we're calling it a quarterly report to do the same thing that happened in January. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be as much time this time, as it's just the uh, amendments that are still at some point. So we're going to go and take some further time after the April agenda. Yeah, and I know Andrew was on board, but I think I saw him on a DVD as well, and that would be great. Great. Yeah. Great. Thank you. I can't on it, but uh, <laughs> yes, I don't have a problem with that. Great. Thank you. Uh, any other points on that? Cool. Um, we're going to move on to our PSET quarterly report. We're getting ready to put together our first one. We probably could have put one together a little earlier, but they're really, we were just getting the formation of things. Um, so we have drafted a report. I don't think that it was. Is there copies put it out? Um, yeah, I don't know if it's 100 percent necessary. We can get it out there to everybody. I think it's gonna be brought to the um, the 26th meeting, but we um, the steering committee started putting together some different successes, challenges, um, things of that nature, and I'll just I can just briefly kind of summarize some of the things we talked about. Um, piece of successes. We talked about our team building and training, which is about improvement over the co-ab. Um, you know, the onboarding process, taking much more time to make sure that the group got to know each other, got to know the work we're going to do, and so we felt that was a big success. Um, passed bylaws during our first PSET meeting on November 28th. Um, received settlement agreement training. Held our regular meetings across Portland. I think that was really important that we're holding these different spaces. Um, having Christian Center, Warner Pacific, and the Caber Space last a couple weeks ago. Um, another big success in product was our subcommittees. On, um, obviously, the steering committee was the first one. Uh, and then our race, race ethnicity, ethnicity, and other uh, people with mental illness. And then a settlement agreement policy um, that received, or any subcommittee, received a lot of public input on that and a lot of deliberation within the piece of it as well. So I think that's great. We're finally able to start getting that work. All of our committees have now met. Our, our last one being the youth subcommittee just met this past Tuesday, and I heard a lot of good things about it. Um, we filled vacancies in a timely manner. We had two, three openings, two um, adult and one youth, and all those were filled. We made recommendations to the mayor and took all those recommendations, even though that decision would have ultimately been up to him. Um, Co-hosted the compliance office with the town hall and made re um, recommendations on the annual uh, PPD uh, report. Some of the challenges from the PSIP side of things that we put in this report, and I, I just want to clarify that this is just a draft right now. You will be able to see a copy um, at the meeting on the 26th at the very latest. Um, not the 26th, yeah, it is the 26th. At the latest, uh, if not before. Um, so, piece of challenges. Uh, making sure that our um, alternate pool is qualified and diverse. I think that's been a challenge, and um, I know the process reopened and then closed, and I think there's still a lot of concern about making sure people are applying for that and getting enough candidates to fill that. Um, uh, uh, written work product, product was slow, so just kind of, you know, getting the flow of everything. Um, attendance has been a challenge, especially looking at the different groups that we serve, and communities of color, and representing groups, groups that have diverse interactions with the police is something that we're continuing to work on, and now that we have those subcommittees, I see that as something that we will be able to improve. Um, the bureaucracy just around decision making and all of that, just kind of getting our that, that process together and being able to make decisions um, has been a challenge. And then the facilitator changes, as most of you guys know, one of our original facilitators, um, Train for Transformation, left um, due to an in, um, internal issue and um, 
what I want to say about that. So that they were a facilitator training component with the had to do specifically with race and so how that's being replaced. It still hasn't been replaced in any official capacity, although during our retreat we brought in a race trainer. So that's something that we want to continue to look at. Um, representative surveys, you know, the DHM survey that had been put out and making sure that, that we were getting in a number of people that had been an early thing that we had looked at and um, had concerns about how representative that was. Um, and then also officer involved shooting cases uh, involving race and mental uh, health. And we've been in groups since November and there's been at least, I want to say, four or five different um, shootings that have happened during that time. And you know, that weighs heavily on PSEP and the individual members and how do we respond to those. And um, yeah, looking at that. Um, that actually popped up into the community concern. Sorry, that last one I just said about the DHN survey and the officer wall shootings um, was from that. The last piece that we put on here um, was the alternate pool of people of color and concerns about um, being turned down because of their race or their views. Um, I don't know if that's going to be included in the final report. There was some discussion today about that. Um, armed police at schools, officer accountability in light of the collective bargaining thing, um, you know, the officer being fired and then still having the back pay. So uh, that is a brief summary of this report. We are obligated to put out a quarterly report. So um, we will have that final version to be voted on at the March 26th meeting. Um, myself, Andrew, the rest of the steering committee, um, Andrew drafted it, and so we'll be kind of tweaking it, adding some things to it, and kind of finalizing it. But you can look forward to seeing that at the March um, 26th meeting. I know that was a lot, I flew through that. Yeah, so I'm opening it up to community questions. The person that you mentioned about the successes of PSA, yes. I would encourage you to remove your comparison to COAP. I think that's inappropriate. COAP struggled because the city failed to provide adequate training and coordination that was on the city. So I think that that's an unfair, uh, that's an unfair comparison to make. That's my suggestion that you do it. Yeah, so just to clarify, that's basically what we said. Um, it says here, done. Um, it actually says um, training including implicit bias, blah, 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 and discussions with former co ed members and volunteers. It doesn't actually mention co ed um, per se, as far as um, how we're doing compared to them, just that we had gotten more training from them and that we talked with former co-ed members um, as part of our onboarding process. And I'm interested to know what you think of that. Well, like I mentioned before, um, I One from OPB 
back in, I want to say, right when we started in November or December, about um, wanting to come in and do an interview, and we felt that we hadn't done enough stuff yet to really comment or you know give them a full um, feedback on that. So we put it off, and they reached out to us again last week. Um, and so there's uh, another discussion about how and what we want to share. Um, and we printed off the email here, but basically the, uh, all we do is reaching out to us to see if you'd be interested in talking. We said that, yes, we, we felt that now would be a good time that we've got our subcommittees now that we've actually started getting some work done.